Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, <clears throat> it's Sunday today. Uh, I think it's March on the 10th, maybe. And I'm out here at a new field site. Just got a bunch of permission for property yesterday, and it took me a while to find it. I only went about halfway in between here and the car for quite a while, and then I finally made my way back here to this high spot and found the house site. And first target was a piece of Curdle Bell, and second target here is a nice little Indian. Uh, the house only stood uh, probably, it was before 1908, it wasn't on the 1908 map. So this was probably towards the end of the lifespan of the house. But hey, I got yesterday and uh, hit a different site and only got a couple of buttons that were pretty nice. No coins, so maybe we can make this coin day. Alright, I'll get back with you if I get anything else. Alrighty, I'm, I'm back again. And, and just over there, that tree line uh, is the old Miami Erie Canal. and Where trees get thicker, there used to be a railroad that ran right beside it. But finally back again with another coin. It's been quite a while. But it's another two set. Third one over here. 1865. Looks to be pretty cooked. So, hey, I'll take it. So, hopefully, I can get back with you if I can get anything else. Alright, well, it's only been a couple minutes since I got that two cent. It's just right back there and got a screaming uh, quarter signal around top of the ground. And, uh, like a brass. Uh, that all day yeah it was see where a little puddle of water is right there it was just laying right in there but heck yeah I'll take that all day so I'll get back with you if I get anything else hey guys I'm gonna do a quick little uh, full day here no idea what it is but it's right on top here and you know, 28 a large scent is usually 29 but they, they can't come at 28 That looks like silver right there. A half. Or not. Oh, it is. Oh, man. Wow, I can't believe I just did a full dig. <laughs> oh, my God. There's a find of my career right here. 1877 seeded half. I haven't done a full dig at all, all year, and then just decided to do it here talk about some perfect timing oh my god looks to be in decent shape from what I can see oh boy awesome yeah I just want when I see it laying there I thought it was silver man I'm like oh it's probably aluminum heck yeah I don't know if we can see anything on the back well I just found my field today Heck yeah, guys. Even if I'll get back with you the rest of the day, I think I'm uh, pretty satisfied. All right, get back with you. Well, I'm back again. Um, I'm going to do another full dig.
big, eh? There it is, whatever it is. Yep, I knew it. Dang curdle bell. Stupid things come up. Like every row you hit one of these things. So, oh well. Not all full digs are seated halves. So, get back with you. Well guys, I'm back again. Uh, just got done with some lunch and I'm out of a different field site. Uh, the other one, it's got a little bit left and uh, I'm gonna get back over there probably next couple of days, but met this other site and just hit a fatty Indian. So, looks like she's pretty, uh, pretty toasty. Let's go over here, huh? There we go. I don't know if you can see her or not. Here, how about I do this? There we go. Still can't make much out on it. But hey, it's a fatty, I'll take her. So, if I get some more, I'll get back with you. Hey, back again. Uh, sorry I forgot to mention, I was at lunch and uh, I cleaned up that seat in half and turned out to be an 1877cc. And it had a hole right in the top of it. So, it's got really good details and I'll get a picture at the end. Um, and also the large scent I got was 1830s and it had a hole. But here's something pretty cool. Just uh, let me get out of the shadow. You can see her there. Indian. Round top. At least I think. Could be a button, I guess. It's always nice finding them right on top like that. Eighteen ninety two or eighteen eighty two, I would say. Yeah, I think it's an eighteen ninety two. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So hopefully uh the site starts giving up some more. I've been here a little bit now and it stuff I'm starting to get a lot more signals, so I'll get back with you. Hey okay, guys, I'm gonna try another full dig here. Uh yeah. It's a 0030, which I have no idea. It's a little higher than a silver quarter, so. Alright, let's check her out. Oh. Tell you what, these sloppy fields are giving me a workout. Wait. Uh, nope, ain't it. Well, it looks like a stork, Civil War stork, stork card. It's still pretty darn high for what this would be. You can see her there. Yeah, it looks like a stork card. Let me check the, the hole real quick. That definitely was pretty high for a copper coin. Sorry about that. I'll get back with you. Hey guys, sorry about uh, rambling on on that uh, Civil War token. Uh, it was from Van Wert, which is uh, the town where it goes forever is. It's about, I don't know, 9, 10 miles away. And uh, yeah, just got a, another Indian pretty much right on top of the ground. Okay, if you can see her there. 1875. Looks to be in all right shape. Makes uh, four Indians for the day. I'm hitting here. I think it's in front of the house, so maybe where the yard used to be. And hopefully, we can get some more coins out of here before I head home. Get pretty wore out with all these muddy fields. So I'll get back with you. 
Hey guys, uh, it's been pretty overcast uh, yesterday and today, so I'm going to take a little video to show you how the finds I got yesterday cleaned up. If you see that over there, that's where I'm digging out old privy out of my dad's backyard, but it keeps filling up with water. You know, every foot or so I go down, so it's, it's a long process. But here's the finds. Um, the seated ended up having a hole in it. I mean, she's got beautiful details. It's an 1877. She's got some dings from the plows, but still a real sharp looking coin. I, I'm happy as hell about this coin. You just don't see these found all that often. Yeah, you can see the marks on the rim, it's all beat up. And over here would be the large scent I got. It's got a hole the same exact size as the large scent. It's an 1832. Pretty rough, but that's how the large scent seem to be coming from up here. Pretty rough. Then the world's smallest flat button. Things tiny. And then there's the 1875 Indian. 1901 Indian. Uh, there's my fatty Indian. See, 1860 or 1863. 1892 Indian. And where's the two cent? There it is. 1865 two cent that's cooked. If I wouldn't have found the seated half, this other find here would have been the, the find of the day. Absolutely. It's a store card from Van Wert, Ohio. It says furnishing goods. 1863. And here's the back. So we get the back right. There we go. Edward Ohio, A. Jacobs. And uh, I looked it up in my book last night, and it's a Rarity 7. Only one known for Van Wert. So, but yeah, that's uh, all my finds. Yeah, I got a bunch of curdle bells and stuff, some relics and crap. But those are the coins, so. I'll get some post uh, pictures up, but it probably won't be on the video. So, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed it, because I sure did.